June the 13, Rafael Correa, president of Ecuador, declared in his weekly radio speech that not a single police or soldier will ever be trained again in the sadly remembered School of the Americas. This is just another step in a rather difficult process of the new political dynamic between this small republic and U.S. foreign policy. Not many years ago, Ecuador has a U.S. military base. It was the best foreign debt payer, and the corporations had free reign in this little country. But how has it got to this point? Is this a single leader process or an evolution born from the people? What kind of changes have this process produced in this republic? By who and how the new constitution was created? And what is its message in the context of today's world? Lucio Gutierrez, who won the presidency on a leftist multi-party alliance, many native indigenous groups, unions of workers and students, after his electoral triumph, he did a 180 degrees and had almost instantly became one of the most loyal associates for big corporations at U.S. foreign policy. His administration's policies included priority to foreign debt payment, austerity measures, cheap raw materials, and unjustifiable bargain deals to foreign corporations and banks. But most importantly, the administration co-opted the courts, the Congress, and the media. With almost total power, it implemented the IMF policies. Democracia solamente se justifica por filosofía, por concepto, si es que sirve para reducir la pobreza en nuestros pueblos. Porque si la democracia se la convierte en un instrumento para que los pobres sean cada vez más pobres y los ricos cada vez más ricos, pues yo creo que debemos ir pensando en otro sistema de gobierno. The jobs, healthcare and education cuts produce a lot of damage to the more sensitive areas of society. The country was in turmoil. Demonstrations like the children's bus fare strike, repressed by the police with a hard hand, or the 15 grandmothers that died in a hunger strike, demanding respect for their retirement pensions. The hunger strike lasted four weeks and inspired many others to fight Lucio's regime. Señor Presidente, esto es pueblo y estamos cansados de usted. Sí, salga de una vez. Salga de una vez que no hay arma más fuerte en el mundo que el alma humana incendiada. Y estas almas están incendiadas. Estas almas están prendidas para votarle a usted. No nos haga hacer locuras. Queremos que la cosa sea pacífica. No nos mueva. Bolívar dijo, la gente de Ecuador es como sus volcanes. Parecen dormidos, pero no están dormidos. Le repito una vez más. Le repito una vez más. Cuando la dictadura es un hecho, la revolución, un derecho. Retirees, doctors, judicial workers, jail inmates and student strikes. And many others demonstrations like this were the detonators of a true social explosion. Populares y en los espacios públicos, la gente comienza a manifestarse y a salir con cacerolas y a salir con con globos y a salir con Con, con trampas, con matracas, a salir con eh, esas, eh, esos elementos sencillos, con papel higiénico para empapelar la corrupción, para limpiar la corrupción. The police repression could not longer scare people off the fight. As the government violence escalated, the demonstration number rose exponentially, thanks to a citywide radio that opened the airwaves to the activists. Finally, they took out the former international capitals, new strong men in this strategic republic.
él ya debe irse. Ya el pueblo ecuatoriano le ha dicho, señor, váyase a su casa. La forma digna, políticamente hablando para él, es que renuncie. De lo contrario, tendrá que salir en otra forma. Es que aquí nos quedamos y vamos a hacer Eso. vigilia. La gente vamos a hacer vigilia aquí sentados hasta que se vaya. Hasta que se vaya. Hasta que se vaya. Eh, ya no podemos dilatar este proceso, ya no hay cómo dilatar. El proceso tiene que concluir ahora, mañana, la madrugada y tal vez hasta mañana. Vamos a hacer ese esfuerzo como ecuatorianos. Es una lucha. The enthusiasm of Alfredo Palacio, who was sworn as president that day to refound the republic, quickly faded as he lacked political support in the midst of enormous pressure by international capital. Rafael Correa, then a minister of finance with radical dreams of economic autonomy, jumped in the political arena and draft a new model for Ecuadorian development. This model was based in the gathering of representatives for many key sectors of society, elected all over the country, for a national constituent assembly, which will change the goals, laws and policies of the Ecuadorian states. The elections for the national assembly feature a new electoral format, with only the government can provide funding for the political parties, thus running on an equal basis, and the all political parties practically disappeared with a real popular support. Estas son nuestras amigas de la selva amazónica quienes han venido a visitar a todos los asambleístas y amigos del pueblo ecuatoriano que hacen presencia en este día en honor a nuestro general Eloy Alfaro y la instalación de la nueva Asamblea Nacional Constituyente. Black and indigenous leaders, teachers, doctors, farmers, lesbian, gays and bisexuals, feminists, ecologists and many others were elected Based on their grassroots support, they all came together in Monte Cristi, the town where the old liberal leader Eloy Alfaro was born. In the mind of these new revolutionaries, the sacrifice made by Alfaro, who fought for 30 years and won a war to defend the rights of the plantation workers and the poor people in general, is still present. He instituted a civil marriage and divorce, and many other changes in an almost feudal society as Ecuador was then at the turn of the 20th century. After changing the country forever, he was then murdered by a mob of pro-church soldiers who dragged him with a horse and then burned him. His life and death represents much of the struggle of the poor campesinos and the rich few. The fact that the Constitutional Assembly was installed here is a revolutionary statement by itself. Eres el mejor de los ecuatorianos. Los hombres como tú no debieron morir. Orgullosos nos sentimos de ti. Aquí te recordaremos para siempre. Revolucionario fuiste hasta tu muerte. Oh, gracias a ti en Montecristi la constituyente. This town in the middle of the rain jungle on the Ecuadorian coast was readequated with a brand new building that will host the Constitutional Assembly. No car access was allowed to this new national monument. People had to walk up the hill in the extreme heat. Many citizens came to witness this new hope from change from afar. The new constitution main changes were the priority of social spending over foreign debt and the recognitions of nature rights. Many strategic assets went back to state control. Monte Cristi's constitutional assembly also made the native languages Quichua and Shuar official in the Ecuadorian state. Y Montecristi, ese pueblo perdido allá entre Manta y Puerto Viejo, olvidado, abandonado, eh, recibimos la visita de más de 150 mil personas, 3.600 propuestas de reformas o de cambios constitucionales. Eh, además, hubo una altísima participación de la ciudadanía en todas las provincias y en casi todos los cantones del país. Eso fue algo positivo.
los contenidos de la nueva constitución son también reveladores. El hecho de que estemos pensando en un estado plurinacional, primera vez en el Ecuador y en muchas partes del mundo, que se reconoce la existencia de pueblos y nacionalidades indígenas. Otro que mencionaría, el tema de los derechos de la naturaleza, algo inédito a nivel mundial. But the fundamental change was that the president, not the private central bank, will dictate economic policy. Yo sostengo que Ecuador y América Latina tienen elecciones, que no es lo mismo que tener democracia. Yo no habrá de la democracia y no haya tanta injusticia, tanta desigualdad, tanta inequidad. Me conoce bien. América Latina es la región más desigual del mundo. Y Ecuador, por ejemplo, esa región, la más desigual del mundo, es el país más desigual. Usted puede encontrar aquí fácilmente la más insultante violencia, a la de la más intolerable miseria. Eso tiene que cambiar y solo cuando eso cambie tendremos la democracia y ese es el escenario que siempre soñar por lo que estamos aquí. Since 2005 there have been notable changes in Ecuador. An invigorated state provides social services using the money that before was used to pay for in debt. There are many new roads, schools and hospitals available grants for small business development, hundreds of high and mid-level education scholarships, money into culture and arts, credit card regulations, job security. There are many aspects in the quality of life that have radically improved by this new perspective where people goes first. However, being such a complex process, the one of changing the constitution, and doing it amid heavy political pressure from the economic elite. There are many things left to do, as Gabriel Rivera López, a Constitutional Assembly member, tells us. También tuvimos que afrontar toda una organización, diseño legal preconstitucional, que son aquellas leyes que estaban adecuadas a las anteriores constituciones. Entonces ha sido un trabajo bastante fuerte, bastante arduo durante todo este periodo. Pero lo que hay que destacar es que en la nueva constitución se incluyen conceptos que no existían en la constitución anterior, que tienen que ver con el buen vivir, con el suma causa y con la pachamama, eh, todo esto de los derechos de la naturaleza que es fundamental, me parece, si no me equivoco, es una de las primeras constituciones, si no la primera del planeta que reconoce los derechos de la naturaleza. Entonces, eso llevarlo a los ciudadanos, hacerlo, convertirlo en una herramienta, hay que apropiarse de la constitución. In following reports, we will review the perspective of the opposition and his criticism to the Korea regime. From Quito, Ecuador, for The Real News, this is Oscar León.